Do I have the time to return and see those dear to me? Constantine, how are you feeling? Death is on my doorstep, and all hope has flown through the window. Come closer. What ill tidings do you bring? Yes. I thought you might want to know more concerning the, uh, events that have taken place. The attempted coup d'etat of the traitors? Yes. I am eager to hear what has transpired within these very walls when I think of the cold-blooded face of that treacherous Kurt. You showed exemplary true courage. Not only have you looked out for me, like always, but you have protected my advisors. And saved our city and our mother cardinal. An immense service that we shall never forget. She has asked me to relay to you her most profound gratitude. <sighs> to me? How very nice of her. I imagine that you know that Hikmet had less luck. She flies the banners of the Coin Guard as we speak. Most of the scholars were massacred, but their governor has sought refuge here. This treacherous commander must be celebrating at least his partial success. But his victory will be for a short time. He must be stupid to have thought that the nations of the continents will let him trade with them and won't cut him off. I wish him luck in finding a port that will welcome him. And you were able to catch his lieutenants. The squires will pay for the crimes of their masters. As happens too often. It is hard to swallow that Kurt betrayed us. We've known him for such a long time. To think that he trained both of us, drumming into us, fight with honor. How tragically ironic. You were able to turn that to our advantage. That little phrase is what saved our lives. As to why he betrayed us, he has taken that with him to the tomb. Fortunately, the entire guard did not follow his example. Many have remained loyal. What do you plan on doing to them? How can we give them our complete trust? We cannot. But we cannot do without soldiers, either. We shall have them pledge allegiance to the Congregation of Merchants. And I shall name a trustworthy intendant to keep them in line. Nothing more can be done. Before you leave, I must ask you something. All right. I'm listening. I'm always suffering, cousin. I'm in such terrible pain and we're yet to discover a cure. I'm sorry. I fully intend to continue my research. We have a number of leads, but with all that's been happening... Don't blame yourself. I know how much you do for me. Yet... I'm afraid that before the sickness claims me, the pain will have driven me mad. <sighs> if only there was a way to ease my suffering. I know of a healer with powers that are legendary amongst the clans. It is rumored he can alleviate even the most terrible pains. His village is west of the city. I could take you there. One of our holy men lives in San Mateus. His healing powers are supposedly miraculous. Alas, it is a miracle we are in need of, my son. I'm nothing more than a sailor. I don't have much to offer when it comes to healing. As it would seem to lay a prey for the Malachor, just like the Bridge Alliance. Perhaps it would be best to ask for aid from those not suffering from the plague. Thank you, as always, for your advice. Cousin, you are the only one I trust, so please, don't let me lose my mind. I'll follow the leads and find a way. I won't let you down. Hold on. I'll be back as soon as I can.
Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tian. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is on all Manawi. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desade. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Donegad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual. But my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladnid? Are you not a Donegad as well? It is true. But my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. And you travel with a mind shaker. Strange trio. I am Bishop Petrus, but I am not a mind shaker. A missionary. Why, pray tell, are you asking? There are people wearing the same insignia that pass their time troubling the minds of my people. Missionaries? I was not aware. I'm only here to accompany my friend, I assure you. He is not a bad man, Donegad. Even if his beliefs are foreign and strange. Then... How can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness. The Malakor. I do not know this sickness. 
but perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness, and I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. and must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded, but the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenlands started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do. But I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He may be able to explain all there is to learn about these attacks. Are you the master hunter? Bear tear to mother and I say. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Denegad, Katasach, spoke to me about the animal attacks. Can you tell me more? The Tenlans have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Tenlands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures, very calm but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegad, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often, and they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away, to destroy any nests that I found, but still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. Distress alone could kill our village. 
Can you tell me who the children are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing. There are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. Hmm. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one. Or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy these nests come dawn. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaixe, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. Is there anything that we might be able to do for you? Besides destroying their nests and fighting the Denlands? Do you know the art of crafting weapons? Our artisan was among the wounded, and my weapon is broken. I can try to repair it. Here, in this condition, it is of no use to me at all. Look, I really need you to tell me what you know about the cause of these attacks. I regret I cannot speak words about something you would not understand. And as you say, it is only an intuition. What do you know about the missionaries? The Mind Shakers? They came here before the attacks of the Tenlands and buzz around us like flies. They speak of light of demons and the soul. Their words make little sense. All that they want is for us to join their village and that we serve them as if they were Tiern. They want to make us Renaixe. They want to sever our bond with our lands. Their words do not touch those old enough to understand. But the young are sometimes swayed, and listen, they follow them to their Eden village, and they become their servants. Their bond is cut. Have you tried to fight them? No, but some have fought, because they treat the young girls badly. I think if not for the attacks, no one would have turned to them and their light. But hope fled our village. And the weak of courage have doubts and listen to their lies. Uh, it sounds as if the attacks began at a timely moment for the missionaries. I must be going. Katasach advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the tenants have built their nests.